This is a lesson on multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. It goes along with Lesson 8-12 of Scott Forsman, 5th grade math. Our objective today is for you, the students, to be able to multiply and divide mixed numbers by, uh, here's how we're doing it, converting mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then multiplying or dividing, whatever the problem calls for. And then the last step is always to simplify. And for these, you're going to have to be able to simplify uh, improper fractions to mixed numbers and then sometimes even the fractions after that need to be simplified. Uh, in order to succeed in this lesson you're going to have to be able to simplify fractions, multiply fractions, divide fractions, and then convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. If you're at all unfamiliar with any of those skills please review them before continuing with this lesson. Uh, and you will also hear reciprocal numerator and denominator plenty of times in this lesson so you need to know that vocabulary. And here's our notes for Lesson 8-12. And again, the notes are up top. And then the example problems or any examples that you want to write down go below. And our question today is, what are the steps in multiplying and dividing mixed numbers? All right, first of all, we're going to uh, you know, do this by converting all of our mixed numbers to improper fractions first and then multiplying and dividing. Now, that isn't necessary all the time, um, but let's see how much work goes into a problem if we don't do that. So I'm going to give you a sample problem here, 3 and uh, 1 half times 2 and 1 fourth. Okay, pretty simple problem. But in this, you have to see this as, if I'm going to multiply all of this number, I have to multiply it by all of that number and then combine everything. So I have to see this here as 3 times 2, Right, that's the first part of my problem, 3 times 2. And then I also have to say, well, I multiply it by the 2, but I need to multiply it by the other part of that problem, too. And so I'll add that to 3 times 1 fourth. And then I say, well, I didn't multiply anything by the half yet, so I'll take the half and multiply that by 2. And then I'll take the half and multiply that by 1 fourth. And again, I'm just showing you how much work goes into these things if we don't have a, a better strategy. So 3 times 2, that equals 6. And then 3 times 1 fourth, let's see, that's 3 fourths. 1 half times 2 equals 1. And then 1 fourth times 1 half equals 1 eighth. And I just need to combine all these things. Uh, so this needs to be converted to uh, you know, eighths down there, so it's six eighths, and now I can combine them. Six plus one equals seven. Six eighths plus one eighth equals seven eighths. And that's that's the answer right there. Now, going through all this and knowing what to do and doing a lot of this work in your head and going fast and keeping it organized, that's going to be very difficult. Fortunately, mathematicians have found a much better way to do this. And it starts with converting each one of these to uh, uh, an improper fraction. So now I have 3 and 1 half. I'm going to convert that to an improper fraction right below it. 3 times 2 is, or 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 equals 7. And the denominator was halves, so we're going to continue with that. And then on this fraction, I'm going to multiply 8, or 4 times 2 to get 8 plus 1 equals 9. And then it was over. 4. So now it becomes a uh, multiplying fractions problem. Six, or 9 times 7 equals 63. And then 2 times 4 equals 8. Uh, now I have an improper fraction and I will divide to turn that into a mixed number. Uh, 8 times 7 equals 56. And then 56, or 63 minus 56 is 7. And 7 and 7 eighths is an answer we get. It's the same answer we got before, but we did all this work uh, to get you know a whole bunch of things straight. And this way is super confusing. So let's try it this way, where we are doing conversions to uh, improper fractions and then simply multiplying at the end. You're going to have to turn it back into a mixed number. Here's our guided practice for today. It starts off with... Number one, two and one half times two and one half. 
Uh, and so we need to write it out. There it is. And each one of these mixed numbers needs to be turned into an improper fraction. Otherwise, it becomes super complicated to um, multiply. So make it easy on ourselves. We're going to turn them into improper fractions. So we have to figure out how many halves are there in this number 2 and 1 half. Well, each one of these whole numbers has two halves in them. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 equals 5 halves. And uh, since we're multiplying it by you know the same number, let's just copy down what we had before, right? 5 halves, or uh, and then multiply that by 5 halves, which equals 25 over 4, like 5 times 5 equals 25, and 2 times 2 equals 4. And then we have an improper fraction that needs to be simplified and we take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So it's 4 times 6 equals 24. Had 25, used 24 to make those six whole numbers, and I have one of these fourths left. So 25 over 4 equals 6 and 1 fourth, and I know this is in its uh, simplest form because the numerator is 1. So what do we do? First we turn things into an improper fraction uh, and then multiplied and then our third step was to uh, simplify and simplify in this case means first we turn it into uh, from an improper fraction into a mixed number and then if at the end we need to simplify the fraction uh, we'll have to do that too. All right, let's take a look at number two here we have 2 and 1 6 times 1 and 1 third, and we'll start by writing out the problem and then the next step is going to be turning these things into improper fractions. So here we have two holes. Each hole has six parts to them. So it's 2 or 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 equals 13 sixths. And we're going to multiply that by 3 times 1 is uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 and it's thirds. Now I have 13 times 4 which is 52 and then 6 times 3 equals 18 and once again we have an improper fraction that needs to be turned into a mixed number. And so I'll do that right down here. I'll do 52 divided by 18 uh, and it's 18 times 2 equals 36 and then subtracting, you will get 16. All right, so I used 36 of these 18ths to make the two holes. I had 16 18ths left over, so it becomes 2 and 16 over 18. 16 over 18, not a um, simplified fraction. So figuring out what do I... Uh, simplify by. Well, I'm going to simplify by the greatest common factor, and in this case, the greatest common factor is going to be 2. Uh, and let me just prove it here. So we have 8 equal, or 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then 18 equals 2 times 9, and that's 3 times 3. So what do they have in common? Well, they have a 2 in common. Anything else? No. So dividing by 2 equals 2. Remember the whole number needs to go with it. And 8 over 9. All right, now what, what do you do when you have a whole number here? Well, we're going to convert that whole number into a fraction. And remember, anytime you have a whole number, you can write a 1 underneath it and then you are uh, in fraction form. So 9 and 1 half divided by 6 over 1. All right, that's the first step writing the problem out as a fraction. Second part, or um, this is actually the first step now, improper fractions. So we need improper fraction for this one. It's nine, or 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19 over 2. And that's going to be divided by 6 over 1. And from our previous lesson, 
we know that anytime we have a division problem, we're going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. So rewriting this problem, it's 19 over 2. All right, that part gets rewritten. This part gets changed from a division problem to a multiplication problem. And now I need to multiply by the reciprocal of 6 over 1, which is 1 over 6. Uh, and now I'm ready to multiply. So 19 times 1 equals 19, 2 times 6 equals 12. And I have an improper fraction that needs to be converted to a mixed number. I have a little bit of space here, so I will use that space. And that's 12 times 1 is 12, subtracting from 19, and you get 7. So it's 1 and 7 over 12. All right, moving on to our last uh, problem. Here we have mixed number divided by a mixed number, and we're going to be writing those mixed numbers as improper fractions and then going through the process. So, uh, so let's start with the improper fraction part of it. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2, and that's going to be divided by 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 fourths. All right, and uh, I have a division problem here, so I have to rewrite it again as a multiplication process or problem. So 9 over 2 stays, that's the dividend, and you multiply that by the reciprocal of the divisor. So the reciprocal is 4 fifths. Uh, and again, the reciprocal is a number uh, or fraction that has been flipped over. 9 times 4 now that we're in the multiplication uh, part of it. 9 times 4 is 36 over 10, 2 times 5 equals 10. Uh, that's an um, improper fraction that needs to be a mixed number. 3 is the whole number. And then whatever we have left here is the fraction part, which is 6 over 10. 10 is 2 times 5. That's 2 times 3. So I see that the greatest common factor is 2. Now the whole number stays and then the fraction gets simplified. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I had to go through the simplification process to simplify that fraction as you should see that as, hey, these are two even numbers. They can't be in, its, in their simplest form. All right, common mistakes, dividing when you're supposed to multiply and vice versa. Just make sure that if you're dividing, divide, and if you're multiplying, multiply. Here's our task today. It's working out of the homework book H8-12. We're doing problems 2 through 14, just the even problems. And remember, check the operation and do all of the steps. They will lead you to success. Good luck.